Weeks after the Democratic National Alliance and the opposition leader Loretta Butler-Turner formulated an unprecedented alliance which saw party leader Branville McCartney elevated to leader of opposition business in the Senate, the party is preparing to reveal a new group of candidates. The DNA's deputy leader discusses that relationship and whether it will manifest into candidacy. Here's Cleopatra Murphy. The Democratic National Alliance intends to unveil its latest slate of candidates next week as it fills out its ticket heading into the 2017 general election, but party leaders say it will not include anyone from the Free National Movement. Despite establishing an alliance with the group dubbed the Rebel Seven, headed by the leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition Loretta Butler-Turner last month, DNA Deputy Leader Chris Mortimer says there are no plans to add any member of the FNM to its candidate pool. Anybody who wants to be a part of the DNA can. Uh, we have no intention of absorbing FNM candidates. <coughs> None. We have an arrangement that we were trying to get across to the Bahamian people that we were going to do what is in the best interest of our country first and our people second. Mortimer says the party plans to unveil some six to eight additional candidates, 50% of whom will be slated for the Family Islands. As for the relationship with the group that had FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis ousted as leader in the House of Assembly after sending a letter of no confidence to the Governor General, Mortimer says the DNA is working across party lines to get shared goals accomplished and improve the state of the country. We have a government that if you ask the general person on the street if they are better than they, if things are better for them now than they were four and a half years ago, 95% of the people tell you no, because it isn't. We are a country that is in a poor state, broken. The deputy leader says in his opinion, this is the first generation that will accomplish less than their parents and it is no time to play politics. He adds that if any FNM member wants to join the DNA, they can, but insists receiving a candidacy is not automatic. The decision on whether they come and become candidates in the DNA isn't a candidate that me or Mr. McCartney make in and of our own selves. The thing is we have a candidates committee and they make that determination. You know, people like to think that you know, we get to say and do anything we please in this party and it doesn't work that way. To date, the party has unveiled 14 candidates. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.